Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. Last video we worked on the shape of our continent and the shorelines. Uh, the feedback on that video was great so I really hope that you enjoy that. Today we are going to be working on some mountains so if you like that make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't so that I can continue making these World Painter tutorials. To illustrate a concept I like to use when doing mountains we are in paint right now. Not World Painter but actual paint. Uh, because a lot of people when they start doing mountains they go straight to the shaping of the mountain and what happens then is that uh, let's take the red here and uh, take the pencil here and basically you have a, a flat map like this more or less flat and then you start adding a mountain to it so the mountain get, is like this and the valleys of the mountains are as low as the mainland and the spikes are very tall and that creates a super steep mountainside which first of all looks really bad and it's almost impossible to build stuff on this kind of angle. So instead what I like to do is to uh, let's say we have the land here again like that is to first before start adding the mountain is to change how the land is below the mountain so we do this. Rise it up and then figure out where the middle will be. And then we start adding the shapes to it. Look at this. Look how much better that is. Of course, this is a really rough sketch. Uh, but the, the angles of each individual uh, mountain or whatever you want to call it is uh, much gentler uh, and therefore easier to build on. And you still have this massive pike in the middle and you get more of a realistic looking mountain chain. So how do we do that in World Painter, you may ask? Well, today... I want to show you how to do two kinds of mountains, one of them being more of a northern mountain and the other one being more of a hotter mountain, I, I suppose. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do here is just going to find some brushes. Again, we're going to start off by leveling the field and ma or making a little bit of an elevation in the mountain where we want the mountains or in the land where the mountains will go. So just take one of these brushes here uh, and you're going to use the up and down. Uh, thing and I think I'm gonna have like a mountain range going across here and maybe out on some of these Small ones and maybe going to kind of wrap around here I think that will look kind of cool will create some nice spots to build uh, along the shoreline and also some nice inland mountains here So what we're gonna do is basically just work on raising up the entire area here I'm gonna do that uh, kind of a big area actually so we can get some really cool inland mountains and valleys and stuff like that and maybe have some rivers later. That's probably what I'm going to do in the next video here. Uh, let me know down below if there's anything in particular you want me to work on, guys. Uh, so maybe we can have some rivers flowing down here. I don't know. Uh, eventually, I will make a map out of this one, which I will upload so you guys can download it. Uh, but what we're doing now is just, as I said, raising up uh, all of this. Uh, this land is very flat here because I've just flattened it out uh, in the beginning here. So I'm just going to raise everything up a little bit. And then, as you can see, we're doing a higher uh, landscape at the edge here where the main mountain range will go. So here we are at uh, 59 and this one is at 42. Uh, we do want to go up a lot more than that. So we're just doing a lot more here. The more you can raise up the landscape like this way, the better the mountains will look in my opinion. As long as you um, actually manage to get the, the shape up. So I think we're going to go up to 72. Uh, let's go a little bit more up here. So basically we're just doing a big mountain range on this side over here. So yeah, we're up to almost 80 now. So that's cool. Uh, we have the shape here now. So uh, custom brushes. I'm not owning any of these so I'm not able to give you those I would love to but uh, if you just search for world painter custom brushes you're gonna get a lot uh, so this one is one I like really much um, and uh, but you have other ones which are great for these kind of mountains so we're gonna use this one here and then what I like to do is to begin with just get like uh, find a rotation that works and start raising up the mountain here and as you can see now, um, we're just putting that on top of where we already have built. And if we take that into 3D view, it's a little slow, but look how cool that is. Look how 
more natural that looks and when we then add textures to it it's gonna look look absolutely amazing personally i'm not able to understand how the mountains will look just by looking at the numbers so what i like to do is uh, first of all to set the spawn maybe somewhere over there and then export this map right here so that we can and uh, just see a little bit so i'm just going to take these four tiles like that okay and let's export that in to this one here in let's do creative and uh, what we want to do is turn off structures like that we are inside minecraft and we're looking at the mountains we have created and i gotta say i think the slope for these ones are uh, pretty much perfect. It's not too steep. It's uh, nice enough that we can uh, maybe add like some mountain, no, like a castle here or just some houses climbing. And maybe we can even add some flatter areas to that manually. But I gotta say like the spikes aren't too spiky and I kind of like that. I kind of think that's more realistic in a way. We might add some more spiky steeper areas just for fun. But uh, in general I think these kind of mountains looks a lot better than normal ones. What we gotta do now is continue this and then we're gonna look into how to texture these mountains to make them look epic. So what we wanna do then is just to continue doing the mountains here. So I'm just gonna take rotate this a little bit and add uh, some more mountains here about to 140 150 as we did on the other one because as we saw that height really worked with uh, the slopes and stuff so now we have this mountain range like that then what we want to do is maybe scale down this a uh, the size of it a little bit then rotate it a little bit so maybe rotate it out like that no let's see here what I want to do now is to just do some more mountains out here. And uh, I'm not going to do this as tall because we have scaled down the, the brush a little bit. So we got that. Maybe we'll do another even smaller one which goes out here. So this will go about here. Out on this little peninsula here. And raise it up to about 100. And then another one over here which we raise up to... Yeah, something like that. That's going to be a little steeper, but they, but that's kind of cool. Maybe the the weather and uh, ocean has uh, torn on it a little bit. And then we're going to add... Uh, I, was, I think I'm going to do a few um, that sticks out on this side as well, like these small mountain ranges. So maybe we get some valleys in the middle here. So what if we do... Let's say we do... Um, something here. I think that would be kind of nice. And then we have this little valley here. And maybe we'll even uh, bring this out a little bit over here. So then we have like a cool little mountain range here. Uh, actually, I'm going to even continue this out on this little thing. I think that would be kind of nice. And as you can see, I'm using only the same brushes here. Actually, that's a little too steep. I'm going to turn it down quite a bit and do that. And then I'm going to use a different brush on this island here, which is rounder. And do something like this and raise that up. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a look in the 3D view here just to see how the mountains are looking now. Yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. They're big, but I kind of like that. Uh, you don't want to have too much flat land in your world. So what we're going to do now is to work on how to text your mountains. I think that is the hardest part and where the most people uh, makes a bad job. Maybe they have shaped them up nicely from what I've seen. But there are ways to make it so much better. So what we're doing here, terrain, add a custom terrain, material like that. So what I'm going to do probably with this one, I'm going to call that a Nordic, Nordic stone. It's called Nordic stone, yeah. And we're going to go to complex because I like that. And I think what we're going to have here is probably, um, let's see here, stone. Okay, so let's add some stone to that, add material. Um, probably going to have some andesite as well. So then the data value should be, that's granite, andesite like that. Uh, that's a very, very nice texture to get there. And then I'm probably going to add a little bit of cobblestone. Just a little bit to make it look cracked in a way. So um, 
we do, uh, let's see, I think that's four, that's cobblestone, yep. All right, so we have a little bit of that. Then what we want to do is probably to tune down the cobblestone a little bit. Uh, as I said, I don't want to have too much of that. So now we have um, a bigger part of stone and andesite and a little bit of cobblestone. That's going to be our Nordic stone material. Then uh, what I like to do is maybe do a transition thing. So this is going to be where the it's too steep for it to grow grass, but not as steep as being pure mountain. So this is going to be, I'm going to call it Nordic gravel uh, and that's going to be uh, complex again and this is going to have cobblestone it's going to have gravel whoops uh, here so maybe uh, gravel which is 13 there uh, and we might even add some other texture let me take a look here and see what we can find so we've added some coral blocks here, dead brain coral and dead bubble coral, and turned down the count for those, so we don't get too many of those. Uh, and that's going to be our gravel uh, layer or terrain. And uh, we do want to add a few more here, so we're probably going to do uh, Nordic, uh, let's say grass, uh, and that's going to be complex, and that's going to be uh, dirt, and it's going to be coarse dirt. And we're also going to have a little bit of normal grass here. Let's do that. And I think we're going to have that in equal parts. We're going to do that blobs. Uh, blobs make it look like you have, as you can see here. Uh, let's turn off the scale. Let's do like... Uh, the blobs make it come in patches instead of being just noise. So I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to have 100. I think that's a good good blob size uh, because there's going to be patches where we have more dirt and more grass and I think that's going to look uh, pretty nice uh, eventually uh, actually in this one here as well the, um, the gravel one we might actually add a little bit of coarse dirt let's do that uh, just a wee bit of that because uh, that's going to act as a little bit of a transition material into the grassland so we have the stone we have the gravel, we have the grass. Uh, we do also want to add the snow. And the snow layer. So that's going to be uh, snow. Let's call it Nordic snow. Nah, let's just call it snow. And that's going to be... Uh, is that 80? Snow block, yep. Yeah. So we have just snow there. So we have um, stone, gravel, grass, and snow. Uh, you can also use the... Uh, frost layers and stuff, uh, and uh, but I kind of prefer using the normal ice uh, or snow block for this one. So what we're gonna do now? Take the stone, the uh, texture we made, then take uh, the painting brush. Select uh, one brush. It don't really matter which one you take. I'm just gonna take um, this one here uh, for simplicity's case, and then we're gonna mark this to select or above 40, uh, and we're just gonna. Uh, make this go around and just fill up the entire area where our mountain is all right So now the mountain is complete stone and then we're gonna start adding the layers to this and this is where it gets a little bit complicated all right um, and uh, So just stay with me here and I'm gonna take the gravel here and, and this is gonna be at um, below uh, I think we're gonna do below 40 that's yeah, that's good. That looks so confusing, but um, I'm going to add that to everything that's below 40 degrees. Uh, as you can see, the mountains are still kind of rocky, but then we have a little bit of this gravel scattered around. Now we will start adding the grass into this, the grass mix. And basically how we're doing this, and this is where it gets tricky, is that as we move down the mountain, uh, we want to give the grass more and more playroom. And of course the mountains, they do gradually get uh, less steep, but we also want to do it manually. So what we're doing here is we're going to do at or below, use that one. And uh, we're going to set it to, let's say, about 100. I don't want any grass above 100, alright? And then uh, we're going to start at below uh, 20 degrees. No, actually, let's start even lower than that. Let's start at 10, alright? And we're just going to paint in the grass here gonna paint a lot on the bottom but not too much in the mountains and then we'll go down um, to 90 
like that. And I'm going to go up to, let's say, 15, just to give it a more wiggle room. Like that. Then we're going to go up to uh, 18, I, I suppose, and then go down to 80 again. And just kind of keep on doing that until we're all the way down. And that way we'll get a nice gradient. Go down to 70 here. Then go up to 20. Like this. Go down to 60. And then up to, let's say 25. Give it some more wiggle room here. So get a more of that in here. And you, you get the deal. Just up and down with these two, uh, go down the mountain change, give the grass more wiggle room, go down to, uh, we're getting really low now, yeah, so I think that should be good, uh, let's do it there, and there we go, how does that look in a 3D view, that should look pretty nice, and then we're gonna go into, yeah, look at that, that is uh, very nice, I think, we maybe could have given the grass some more wiggle room here. But uh, let's uh, take it into Minecraft world and see how it looks. Looking at it now, I think I'm gonna give the grass some more wiggle room. I do think the shape is really nice though, uh, but I think we need more grass up here. It is very grey right now. So I'm probably gonna redo the texturing of the grass. And I think I'm gonna scale down the... Actually take away the entire coarse dirt from the gravel layer. Uh, and... Um, I think that's going to make the mountain look a lot better. So let's do that. So to give the grass some more wiggle room here, I'm going to go up to 110 and start at 20 degrees, I think. I'm just going to do that. And then again, do the same thing as we go down. And we're going to go up a little bit. So we get some more uh, grass in here because it was looking a little plain right now. 90 and then go up to 30 degrees. Here you can see we're really starting to paint in a little bit more here. So that's really, really nice. Um, go down even further here. I don't want to go too high with the angle though. Um, I do still want to keep the grass at uh, a very gentle slope here. So, um, but let's take it down. Yeah, something like that. And then go up to 38. Yes. And then a little further down and stop at 40. I think 40, 40 degrees or something is the absolute max. 42. 41. Let's do 41. So now we should have some more grass in here. Let's export that and see how that looks. That definitely looks a lot better now. We have some more variation to the mountains and um, the entire slope feels better in a way. So I'm really digging that. Uh, what we're going to do now though is to go back into World Painter and add the snow on the tops. So for adding the snow, we're basically doing the same as we did with the grass. Just a different direction here. So we're going to start at uh, using the at or above instead. And we're going to start at, let's say, 90. I do want to... These are Nordic mountains. There's going to be quite a bit of snow here. But we're going to start at a super, super gentle slope. So 10 degrees, all right? Snow. It's going to be painted in a little bit of snow here and there. And then as we move upwards, so let's say we go to 100. We go up to 15. And as you can see, more and more snow comes in. But the higher we go, the colder it gets, the more snow we're going to see. So let's go up to 110. And uh, 20 degrees. We see even more. We go up to 120. We're going to have 25 degrees. Uh, keep in mind, though, we do want to go, do not want to go all the way up here. So uh, let's go to 130 and going to be 30 degrees go up to 40 and that's going to probably be the maximum so 35 degrees is probably as steep as the snow will go in this mountains here or we, we could go up to 40 let's go 40 i think that's a nice number so uh from 150 and above that's going to only going to be the peaks here they're going to get some a uh, nice little snow there. So how does that look in the 3D view here? That's gonna look pretty nice, I think. Yeah, look at that. Um, we could potentially actually move the snow a little bit more down. Uh, I think I might do that for the fun of it. And so we get some more snow laying in the sides of the mountains here. 
But apart from that, it looks really, really cool. So now we can see that in the more um, less steep parts, there are snow lane on the ground, and it does look uh, really, really cool. Uh, probably gonna go in with a frost layer eventually to add some more snow to this, like get some layers and stuff in here. Uh, but keep in mind, these are not winter mountains, uh, so I don't want it to be packed with snow. This is probably gonna be like a summer map where you can build. Um, uh, like houses and villages and don't have to really cover everything in snow so the top of the mountains are barely covered in snow uh, because that's kind of what we're going for here if you do want to make yourself a winter mountain uh, you just scale down the angles you start at maybe 40 degrees uh, 40 uh, level 40 and then you move your way upwards all right so um or you can cover everything in snow and then just make sure you don't cover the steepest part and that's completely up to you but I really like the way this looks here uh, there's some snow on the tops here and especially where it's not that steep and that's exactly what we want if you want to add frost uh, which is a level or layer that adds uh, snow layers to it you can just do that and then uh, only on uh, layers uh, terrain I mean custom snow I'm just gonna paint only on top of uh, actually turn that away and that away and only on snow so it's gonna paint only on the snow you already placed so you get the nice layers on top of those the mountain we just did is a clear example of glaciated mountains and uh, I also promised you to show you how to do some other kind of mountains and uh, what we're gonna do now is to do more of a typical not glaciated mountain like where to um, to continental plates meet and then push the land up or something uh, in those lines uh, I'm not <laughs> an expert on uh, mountains forming and stuff I do know the bare minimum and uh, what we're gonna do is to do as this previous one uh, I'm gonna do another mountain thingy happening around here um, kind of following this and out on this little peninsula here so I'm just gonna raise it up uh, quite a bit here as we have done just to uh, to get it uh, elevated so we don't get the super steep mountains uh, as you can see from the other one it's already pretty steep and it would have been even steeper if we didn't do it uh, this way so we're just gonna make sure we get that properly up here probably get some even more elevation here how tall is that 80 yeah that's perfect uh, and then we're gonna use more like a shattered we have China mountain yeah China mountain is probably cool here so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna instead of going for um, one tall range in the middle here, we're just gonna kind of fill it up around this place. And as you can see, it gets kind of steep somewhere, uh, but that's the idea here because the, the land has cracked uh, as it was pushed up. So how tall is that? It's a hundred, yeah. So we're just gonna kind of raise that up. Might want to change the rotation a little bit here. So, uh, unfortunately, you don't have these uh, brushes here. But as I said, you probably can find most of them by just Googling on them. So, what we're getting here is more of a, a weirder shaped mountain. Uh, and it is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Maybe you'll mix it up a little bit with... Um, I don't know what, is, what this is, but... You don't want to focus on getting the nice lines, you're just going to want to shatter it a little bit. So just uh, using some weird brushes here and there uh, and just raise up the mountains as good as you can. And uh, just play around with it a little bit. But then the texturing is what takes it um, to the next level in my opinion here. So you really want to um, focus on just getting some yeah nice shapes up and running and then you take... Um, texturing and layering for um, to make it look good uh, so just play around with this a little bit get some nice mountains you definitely want to have some steeper parts uh, because that's gonna be where you see the mountain texture so definitely just play around with what we have here probably gonna do that on the little island here as well so let's do that and then we have a cool little mountain range here. It's going to be kind of weird. I uh, might want to focus on getting this part here tall. Yeah, it is pretty tall. 160 something. Yeah. Um, so let's again see that in the 3D view here. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to probably base the 
terrain here on uh, like southern Europe. Uh, I saw some mountains in France. So let's just call it south for now. Stone. South stone, alright? It's gonna be the stone texture we go for here. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for uh, 159, which is terracotta. And it's just gonna be normal terracotta. No, that's white. So it has to be. Uh, what is normal one? Or maybe it's just terracotta. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, normal terracotta. Yeah, that's a perfect color, what we're doing here. Uh, and then also, I like to add in a little bit of granite. That's going to be this one. And granite is the second one there. And we're going to tune that down a little bit. Not too much. Something like that. Maybe in blobs? No, let's not do that. Let's do that. And noise. Uh, so that's going to be our stone layer. It's going to be like a nice red, orange, rusty color. Uh, we do want to have a gravel layer here as well. And this is going to be kind of tricky. So, uh, south gravel. And this probably won't contain any gravel at all. Um, it's probably going to contain dirt. Uh, but coarse dirt. And it's probably going to contain... Uh, some terracotta and I don't know we, we can be pretty um, pretty um, free here and try to use some stripped or uh, I suppose uh, spruce come on now Spruce, there we go. So, spruce, um, well, yeah, log, yeah, spruce log, and uh, that has a nice uh, color to it. And probably gonna just tune that down a little bit. Uh, but that are, uh, you know, let's add a little bit of granite as well, just because we can. So, we do that, and granite mm, that's gonna probably be higher here. Uh, since it is a gravel layer, the, the, the granite looks more like a broken down terracotta. Um, just looking at the textures here, so... That's cool. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna have... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna use normal grass for this. Uh, because we're in the south here, I think it works. So then, basically what we're doing, select the stone. And then you just wanna... Cover the entire mountain with... With the texture here later we will eventually go back and change out uh, where it's weird right now uh, so don't you worry so we do that and then we're gonna start with uh, yeah normal grass we're gonna fill that in uh, actually no we're gonna do the custom terrain the gravel first let's not forget about that that's gonna be below I want to go up a little bit here, uh, below 50 degrees, I think that's going to be nice, yeah, let's do that, and then uh, the normal grass is going to go from, so we're going to start at, I suppose, we're in the south here, I know it's kind of close, but <laughs> let's just imagine it's not, let's, um, to begin with, so, uh, we're going to start at or below, and then we're going to just start at 160, I think. And it's going to start pretty rough. So it's going to start at below 20. So is that going to... That paints a little bit, not too much. And let's go pretty drastically down here, so we don't have to do this forever. So let's go down to 40, 140 here. And go up to 125. And then... Keep on going, go 130, go to 30 degrees, and I'm just gonna keep on going with this uh, as I've done with the other one. So go down there, 135 there, 
Yes. And just kind of keep that going all the way down. Alright, that looks really, really cool. Love the texturing here, how the grass climbs up and we get these nice, rusty mountains. It's going to be a very cool place to build on, I think. And as you can see, it gets less and less vegetation as you move upwards. I do see that we failed with this one. <laughs> it's not spruce logs, so we gotta change that to something. But uh, what you see here is we have more of a unique uh, pattern of mountains up here. And it looks super cool and it creates a lot of cool areas to build on. And you can build stuff up in the mountains here. Instead of having just one pointy mountain, we have more of many points and flat areas. And it makes a really unique mountain. Looks really cool in Minecraft and uh, definitely something fun to play with. So the last thing I'm going to do then is to go into the uh, gravel, salt gravel texture and edit this one. And make that um, dirt and make it podsol. Just to get a little bit of a different texture there. So basically guys, that's how you make mountains in World Painter. I know I'm not the best, but that's how I do it. Please let me know if there's things I could do better and if there's things you're wondering about, you want me to teach you and all that stuff. Anyway guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. It's been Vigo Man, and I'm out.